Well, have you ever spotted a traffic light that's just a line? One Denver yeah. 7 viewer did. Looks a little different. She wrote to our traffic expert, hmm. Jason Luber, for answers about what to do as a driver when you see one of yeah, these. Yeah, because it, it might look strange to you and me, but it's not yeah. intended for us. Right. It's intended yes. for the bus drivers because it's Jill from Parker wrote to me saying, what's driving you crazy? I'd like some direction for the traffic signals that relate to buses. There's one at 6th and Havana. It's either horizontal or vertical line and it's for buses only. I've never seen anything like that. I have looked, but I don't find any good, reliable information. Well, Jill, you have come to the right place. Uh, <laughs> those bus only signals are also known as Q jumps. The one I know best is right there on northbound Lincoln Street at 13th Avenue. Now, the specific Q jump signal you mentioned is this one. It's the Route 105 bus that uses it going northbound on Havana at 6th Avenue. It's installed by the city of Aurora in partnership with RTD in late 2022. Now, these Q jump bus only signals allow the bus driver to get a head start at the light, mainly so they don't have to compete with the general flow of traffic and to get in that flow, especially on busy roads like Havana. The signals are also instrumental for bus drivers who need to merge across all lanes to make an upcoming left like we saw on Lincoln Street. The signal is usually a vertical bar that comes on for about three to five seconds before the green signal illuminates for all vehicles. Now vertical bar acts as basically a green light for the buses. The horizontal bar acts, acts as a red light for the buses. Although I'm told RTD says the bus drivers can still merge into the through lane and proceed if they have that horizontal bar. Now these Q jumps are part of a larger transit signal priority system working at nine intersections along Havana between Parker Road and Montview. It's also along Colfax. They allow buses to electronically request a longer green signal or a shorter red signal as they approach an intersection so the bus can keep going and reduce transit delays with the minimal impact to other vehicles. Now I detail much more about that TSP system as well as the as talk about the new Q jumps that are coming to the diagonal highway. There's a lot of improvements coming to the diagonal highway uh, between Boulder and Longmont. All of that right now on Denver7.com left side menu to Denver 7 traffic. Yeah, even more reason not to text while driving. So you <laughs> pay attention to all the <laughs> lights all, up there. All, yeah. all the signs, there's, all the signals. There's a know, lot going signs, on. Everywhere is sign. Yeah. Uh, we, have, <laughs> <laughs> we have some snow falling already north of town and north of the state. Lisa, this is up in Cheyenne right now where they're seeing some of that heavy snow as it's moving this way. So we have some uh, travel slick spots on I-25 heading north.